Hey y'all, it's the Budget Epicurean, and today we've got a super fun project for you. We're going to be building a coop. Um, as you can see, I keep quail. Um, quail are awesome little birds. They're basically chickens, just smaller and quieter. And they're super awesome, I love them so much that I decided to expand the flock um, and hatched a bunch more. So now we need somewhere to put them. Um, so we're gonna try to build a second coop here today. Uh, you can use the same principles to build a coop for uh, chickens as well, just uh, expand the measurements by a little bit. So quail are tiny and they only need a half to one square foot of space per bird. That's one reason why they're awesome because you don't need that much space to keep several. And they do lay about one egg a day all throughout the spring, summer, and fall time. Um, it quiets down over the winter, but you can keep that going with a actual like extra light if you want uh, year round eggs. So that's one of the reasons that I keep them and also because at the end of their life cycle, they become dinner. Um, so that's where food comes from, folks. Uh, so to build the coop, I got a couple materials for free. I got four pallets from the local feed store. So those I just asked nicely and they gave me a few off of their pile. And then I went uh, trash picking, sure did, and found a big flat piece of wood and what looks like about a half a sheet of plywood. Um, so we're gonna try to use all those materials together to build uh, my first coop that I've made. Um, these materials I did have to purchase um, because I tried on FreeCycle on Facebook and no one had any that they were trying to get rid of. So I got a roll, a uh, 50 foot long roll of chicken wire. So this is gonna go around the sides to keep the birds from getting out and other animals from getting in. Um, and then I've got a roll of half inch hardware cloth. So this is a uh, metal wire and the holes are small enough that the birds can walk on them and not hurt their feet, but big enough that it lets the manure fall through um, to the ground below it. So it's a really good way to help keep the coop cleaner, easier. Um, quail cannot free range like chickens do because they don't roost. Um, so chickens, you can let them out, run free, and they will come home to roost at night. Quail don't do that. They just, wherever they're at, they sleep for the night. And uh, also chickens can't fly for real. Um, quail can. So if I just let them roam in the yard, uh, they would take off and be gone and never come home. So that's why they have to live in a coop. Um, and you can build the coop on the ground, but that presents a couple different problems. So if you have a flat surfaced ground, then you have to use bedding um, like straw or sawdust or um, pine shavings. And then you have to clean that out like every day, every other day because the manure will get mixed in with it and it'll start to smell bad. It's not good for the quail's health. So if you have a solid bottom cooped, then you have to clean it more often. Whereas if you have the wire, it just falls through to underneath. And I prefer doing it the, the raised wire bottom way because then all of the poop, all of the sawdust, the feathers, um, all falls underneath and I can scoop it out once a month or so and toss it on my compost pile. So it's much easier to keep clean and it helps keep animals from getting in. So if your coop is on the ground, on the dirt, um, with wire just around it or wood around it, uh, animals like raccoons and foxes, um, maybe rats can dig underneath it and get into your coop and eat your birds. And uh, I don't want wild animals eating my birds, I wanna eat them. So uh, having a raised coop with solid wire flooring and solid wood and wire around it will keep any other animals from getting in as well as the birds from getting out. So that's the plan um, in making the raised coop today. And it's our first time, so we'll see how it goes. So to update you guys, we are working on disassembling the pallets. It is 
quite hard to do without a crowbar, so keep that in mind. Um, you gotta kinda pry each thing off and then remove the nails that are already in there, but we're making good progress. Um, and we kinda figured out how we're gonna build the coop. So I have four pallets and we're gonna use those as the four walls um, of the coop. And so to do it with the least amount of hammering required, we're gonna use the uh, side with the fewer boards on the inside facing towards the birds. So that means only three boards will have to be removed each. And then the fourth one, that's gonna be the front door. We're gonna remove everything but just the frame part. And that way we'll have an open space to build a door to get in and out of the coop. Um, then we got the big plywood thing that I'm gonna use as the roof. And I'm going to put um, some wood in the corners to angle it so that water slides backwards. And if I get really ambitious, I'm gonna try to uh, frame it by an inch or two, put some dirt in the top and actually turn the top into a tiny herb garden. So multi-purpose coop, right? Um, so that's where we're at right now, just yanking loose some boards and then we'll move it to where we're actually gonna set it up because once assembled, it's gonna be pretty heavy. Um, so that's what we're up to now. So we are almost done with the disassembling. We've got uh, all three of the side pieces um, down to just one side of wood. <clears throat> and uh, the fourth front piece is just the frame so we can use it to build the doors. Um, so we're gonna move everything over to where we're gonna actually assemble the uh, rest of the coop and uh, take a break for lunch. So see you back in a minute. Okay, so we finished with the disassembling part of pulling the boards off of the pallets and now we're gonna drag everything over here to where the coop is going to uh, be set up. So we're gonna assemble it here um, because it's gonna be quite heavy when it's done. Um, so I'm using these uh, old logs from a fallen tree just to prop it up off the ground um, because I'm doing the wire bottom. I want the manure to fall through um, to the bottom and so I need a little bit of space underneath it so I can get in there with a shovel or a rake and scoop it all out to put in the compost. So this is what the coop's going to be sitting on top of and we're going to pull all of our pallets and wire over here um, and get to the assembling part now. Okay, so we're almost ready to start the assembling process. We had to take an intermission for sawing um, because we needed some smaller pieces uh, from the wood parts that we pried off of the um, pallets. So we cut them into smaller pieces because when we join these two together, we're gonna put it through here and nail or screw into this crossbar as well as this crossbar and this will help stabilize the whole thing. So we cut out a bunch of those little pieces so we can start with the actual building process. Here we go.
All right, so we made some really good progress today. As you can see, we've got the frame mostly done. Um, so the back and sides are all uh, attached to each other with these little pieces of board nailed into uh, both of these um, parts of the frame. So all we've got is to put on the front part that's going to be the door and that's gonna be this one. So I'm gonna put a door in the top and the bottom so that I can reach into the coop and get to the birds um, to collect the eggs and things. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna put the floor on. So I've cut the wiring to the width of the coop floor. So um, we discovered that we don't have the right size washers uh, to make it fit. So we're gonna go grab some of those. Um, and then after that, we do the floor and we do the door. And then I'll uh, go all around the outside with chicken wire so that no birds can come through here um, and nothing else can stick their paws in there. Uh, and then the last piece will be the roof. And I'll slope that towards the back and um, possibly turn it into a grow box. We'll see. Um, so we're going to head to the store and uh, finish this up a little later. <laughs> 